myself arthur clive assistant professor department of mechanical engineering akshaya college of engineering and technology in this video we are going to see about forging process so forging process is the process of mechanical working of metals so in this process the desired shape is obtained by the applications of a compressive force in hot forging the metal is heated above the recrystallization temperature then it is compressed and squeezed to the required shape by using a hammer or press tools so this is known as the forging process so here we are going to see about what are the steps involved in forging so forging process starts performing of a round or square piece from a forging blank or bar stock so he va see this is the billet that is the open die forging is often used to perform or pre shaped the work piece for closed die forging so rough forging is the next steps in the forging operations okay rough forging operations involves operations such as fullering edging and blocking operations next fullering and edging operations are used to distribute the materials into the specific regions of the blank next blocking creates a rough shape so finally the final shape is done by using the finishing die so then the flask is trimmed off using trimming die final products is obtained by using finishing operation such as grinding polishing so this is the these are all steps involved in the operations so he, here we can lay out diagrams that is the process diagram steps involved in pro, forging operations that is the billet pre shape rough forge finishing die trimming die and final product next we are going to see about what open die forge so open die forging is carried out between flat dies or die of very simple shape okay in this process a heated work is placed on a flat surface see the metal so what will happen the heated work is placed on a flat surface or anvil or between the flat dies here the die between the die that is the upper die and lower die so what will happen so the heated work piece the in between the metal is known as the work piece so it will be kept in between the two dies between two flat dies and hammering force is applied so what will happen hammering is done by giving repeated blows manually using a hammer or by power hammer we can apply it manual hammer or power hammer so heavy forging weighing up to 25000 kg are produced so this forging is very simple and flexible so it is very much useful for producing simple shapes such as u bolt scissors and rectangular circular hexagonal square any kind of shapes so this is the open die method next we are um, seeing the what are the features of the open die forging so hot forging is used for relatively roughly shaped work piece so simple process such as upsetting and flattering are used to shape works so it has simple die cavities as shapes and shapes so multiple blows are required to work for large work piece mechanical manipulators are used to poison the part between blows so this is the open die next we are going to see about there are many types that is the hand forging and power forging so what is the hand forging 
so in this the metal is heated and placed okay it is metal is heated and placed over an anvil by using tongs so one side of the former is held on the pot to be forged while the other side is struck with the sledge by the helper so the repeated blows are given by the sledge hammer to obtain the regular shapes of the metals this is known as the hand forging next we are going to see about what is the power forging so in forging in power forging power hammer or power press are used so machine which work on forging by blow are called hammers so whereas those machines working by pressure are called pressures in power hammer a sudden falling weight which is striked on a metal so it will make it into the regular shape so in power presses the compressive force applied by presses is used to shape the metal so power forging is used in mass production so it is used in mass productions okay thank you we can see the next topic in next video